Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today I have something rather sad but definitely important that I need to address in the world of jailbreaking that specifically affects and impacts those of you who are eagerly awaiting for the no computer uncovered jailbreak method to once again become re-signed and become a viable option for jailbreaking sans computer. Yeah, it seems like no computer jailbreaks are starting to go the way of the dinosaur and becoming extinct. That's the sad reality of the situation and I'm going to break it down and explain everything for you guys here in today's video for both new slash perspective jailbreakers and veteran jailbreakers alike. So for those of you who fall into that ladder camp, you may already be familiar with a number of the subjects that we're going to be talking about in today's video. And for that reason, you can find some timestamps down below in the description. I'll give you a little bit of backstory. Essentially, there is a way or previously there was a way that worked very well to get applications installed on your device that were not on the app store that were seen as questionable, like the Uncover application to be able to jailbreak your iOS device without a computer. Now, however, that doesn't seem to work as well. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. But uh, what happens is these applications are signed with what's known as a developer enterprise certificate. Now there are a couple of different ways to get applications that are not stock or default applications installed on your iOS device. The most prominent way and the way that most of you are probably familiar with is through the app store. However, what if you wanna get something installed on your device that's not from the app store? Because Apple does keep iOS such a walled garden, you have to utilize one of the developer methods. In fact, if you go to install alt store or uncover on your iOS device, that is using the developer method. It's using Apple's self-signing method to use your own Apple ID to get a seven day certificate. You can also use their straight up developer program and Xcode to get an application installed on your device, but it has to be signed with your developer account. Or of course you can also use your own Apple ID for just that seven day certificate. But there is another method, kind of a gray method of sorts, and that is through Apple's developer enterprise program, which is intended for companies or corporations to distribute their in-house applications in a more expedient and time efficient manner. It allows them to deploy these in-house applications at mass scale by signing and distributing them through an ad hoc network or essentially without a computer. Now, these certificates are what have always been used to sign on cover for the no computer jailbreak method. That is a fact. The thing that's changed is that Apple starts revoking these certificates more quickly. What happens is there are companies who put these certificates up for sale. Maybe they no longer need them or they've moved on or they're defunct, whatever the case may be. They put these certificates up for sale and these app signing services get a hold of them and they sign Uncover with them to allow you to use Uncover on your device without the assistance of a computer. Computer. And again, Apple has always revoked these certificates, but they've been much more quick to do so over the past couple of weeks. Now, I think I have a reason or an answer as to why. If we hop on over to the settings application here and we navigate to general followed by device management and tap into the enterprise version of Uncover that I actually have installed on my iOS device right now, you can see that it is listed as being verified. However, when we go Go to open it up. This is the second version of Uncover that I have that was installed through that no computer method when Uncover was previously signed. You'll notice that it simply crashes. And I'll take it a step further. If we actually delete it and we go to install it through one of these signing services, since it is currently revoked, you're about to see what will happen. So we tap on install right there and we exit out to the home screen. And guess what? It just appears as a great app version of the icon and we go to tap into it nothing happens and it'll say unable to install uncover please try again later that's because the certificate has been revoked that is the reason and again Apple is definitely Johnny on the spot so to speak and I know that's definitely an old expression but it really does fit here to revoke these certificates the second Uncover is re-signed. And I mentioned previously, I think I know why. Well, because up until iOS 13.5, there was previously a method to get these applications 
installed on your device with a revoked certificate. It involved a couple of things such as turning on airplane mode at just the right second to install the application and then going inside of settings, clearing your Safari cache and browsing data. And then of course, going inside of the profile section and tapping on trust and it would say not verified and so on and so forth. And uh, you would go through the process of actually bypassing that method. It bypasses the check rather for whether or not certain certificates are still being signed and you could use the application as it was normally intended to and you could re-enable or actually just straight up jailbreak if your device wasn't jailbroken again without a computer and it would work as expected. But now because that workaround no longer exists because it's closed inside of iOS 13.5, I feel like Apple is much more quick to revoke these certificates because they know that no computer jailbreakers have no other fallback so to speak. And previously, they were so lackadaisical with revoking these certificates, it would go for up to weeks at a time while still being signed because they knew that if they revoked it, they could just do the workaround and get it installed regardless. I mean, heck, that's one of the most popular videos here on the channel of recent times actually showing you how to install revoked developer certificate signed applications. That is no longer a possibility. So that's the sad reality of the situation. And where we stand now is that once these services receive new developer enterprise certificates to re-sign the applications such as Uncover and of course others, they will be revoked in a matter of hours at the most. And in fact, earlier today, I pushed out a video letting you guys know that Uncover was signed. At that time, of course, it was signed. But shortly after its publication, only about 30 minutes or so, it was revoked and it was no longer signed by Apple, causing the application application to either crash or fail to install, of course. So like I said, Apple is faster than ever when revoking these certificates now, and that means that this is no longer a viable jailbreak method to rely on, because even if you were on this video the very second it dropped, you followed the instructions, you installed Uncover, and you were able to get it to work, well, it would do exactly what Uncover on this device was doing previously. It would just crash when you go to reboot your device because that certificate has been removed and I'll take it even a step further in just a second and talk about revision and give you one more nail in the coffin, so to speak, as to why no computer jailbreak methods are essentially gone and they will not exist very soon. But first, I want to say that after this video was released, I had to really, really think about it because like I said, it was revoked or the Uncover application was revoked shortly after its publication and I made the hard decision to unlist it. For those of you who don't know, Unlisting a video basically means that it cannot be found anywhere on YouTube. The only way is with the direct URL. So you cannot find it in search. Subscribers will not see it. New viewers will also not see it. It will not appear in recommendations. You simply cannot find it through YouTube discovery methods whatsoever. And the reason for that is, well, because it's unsigned. I didn't feel right having a video out titled, hurry, iOS 13.5 jailbreak, no computer method is available or uh, whatever the title previously was. I forget while I'm on the spot here recording, but the sentiment remains. I just didn't feel comfortable with that out. So if Uncover is ever re-signed again in the future, I will post a video letting you guys know that it is, but you will have to hurry. And of course, you will eventually run into the issue once your device reboots of Uncover crashing. So you get to make the decision whether or not you want to follow that, but just make sure you subscribe with notifications set to all. That way you don't miss out if and when it is ever re-signed again in the future through a developer enterprise certificate. But like you've probably gathered from this video up until this point, it's not a very good method to rely on for jailbreaking anymore. And uh, we'll take it, like I said, one step further, another nail in the coffin. If you do get this application installed on your device while the signing window is available and you try to utilize reprovision to essentially re-sign it with your own Apple ID and and keep it on your device permanently and not have to worry about revokes. It would appear here, by the way, in the other application section. It won't work. Reprovision 
only works when you use the self-signing computer method now. So you'll see here in just a second that if I go to the middle tab here and I just revoke all of my certificates that I have used to self-sign and I attempt to re-sign both Alt Store and Uncover, both will work. I can re-sign them without the assistance of a computer. This thing isn't even plugged in right now. It's just using my internet connection and Apple servers to re-sign it. You can see right here it's going to flash green in just a second indicating that it has been re-signed and uh, it is refreshed there as well. So it does work but it doesn't work on the no computer method. If you install Uncover with one of those developer enterprise certificates you cannot use reprovision. It's something else Apple did. They definitely changed the way that developer enterprise applications are handled on iOS. They're trying to remove that from the fray, make it impossible or at least super inconvenient to jailbreak without the assistance of a computer for all of the reasons that we've gone over in today's video, guys. So uh, the sad reality of the situation, like I've said, is that no computer jailbreak methods are no longer a viable option. And if you don't have access to a computer, just try to get a computer for a couple of minutes. That's really all you need to get alt server and alt store set up and then get uncover signed from the beginning and then you can use reprovision to re-sign it from there on out. If you don't have a computer, like I said, try to beg, plead, borrow one from your friends, family, however you can get your hands on it, just try to because once you get Uncover installed on your iOS device once, that is all you need. You can then use reprovision to constantly re-sign it yourself without a computer. And uh, yeah, if you don't think that it's worth it, I'm gonna show you part of our top 100 Cydia Tweaks video. This is over 104 reasons why jailbreaking is amazing. You can customize your device to the nth degree as you're about to see. That video will be linked in your cards now as well as down below in the description. And that wraps up this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out anytime I cover new things related to jailbreaking or, of course, if and when Uncover is ever re-signed through one of these services. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is part two of our top free tweak series for iOS 13.5. I have some awesome new tweaks for you today. We're gonna cover those first. Okay, so let's get into things. First up, we have a new design for our widgets and notifications with Blanca. They're a little bit more rounded. You have a couple options to choose from there in the settings pane. Secondly, we have color me notifs to uh, make your widgets and notifications the same color of the app icons that they relate to. Next up, we have this custom battery widget right here called Half. Looks pretty sweet. If you guys want your YouTube videos to keep playing in the background, we have Circube. We have multiple light on the dock. Now you can switch between your music controls and your dock icons. Uh, heading into the camera app, we have tap, tap, flip. So just double tap to flip the camera. Also on the home screen, we have tap, tap, lock to lock our devices. We have this pretty cool new way to select text. Instead of it saying uh, select all copy or paste, we actually have icons right there with menu support. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. If I go to Safari and 3D Touch on that, we have paste and search. Whatever's in our clipboard, we can just tap that and it will search it within Safari. Uh, I always use this one. This was just recently updated. Circle settings to uh, give our icons in the settings app a circular look.